Go ahead. I am very, very fortunate that a vast part of my job is simply offering those free education and support options for the community to give them a place to go before insurance, after insurance, with no insurance, a community that we have four stroke programs. We cover nutrition with a free cooking class, which is six weeks, um, once a week for six weeks. And we chop, cook, stir, and eat together, both a stroke survivor and a friend or family member or their driver. Um, same thing with our uh, Parkinson's. We have support. We have arts and dance and uh, education every month. So there's just so much. Our spinal cord injury, paraplegics, quadriplegics, amputees, they talk about all kinds of mobility issues getting on and off a plane and getting on and off a boat and making sure they can still golf and do all the things they love. And so a lot of my job is helping the community connect with, as you, like you said, these groups where they can socialize, be with people that understand, be with people that can give them real life insight and suggestions as they move forward. Uh, with uh, services. So I love that I am able to offer the community so many free options. Yeah, that's awesome. And so you said that even if they don't have insurance, they're still able to take advantage? Absolutely. I mean, I don't, if they had a stroke up in Ohio and they've come down for the winter, they're perf we'd love to have them. We have a monthly stroke wellness club where we do a topic in an education every single month. I do a stroke support group once a month. We have the cooking class and Health Fit, which is a gym powered by Sarasota Memorial, has a class specifically um, for stroke survivors. It's called Fitness Forward. That one does have a fee, but the cooking class, stroke, and wellness club are all free. Oh, nice. Um, the Neuro Challenge, I know you said there was an event going on on January 18th. I think we talked about that briefly. Um, and then is there a large uh, Neuro Challenge Expo taking place in February? Yes. Yes, that will be up in Bradenton as well. It is actually the largest Parkinson-only expo in the whole United States of America. And they bring in... Speakers on like the half hour, they have lots of vendors with services, lots of programs available. It's a great way to um, connect with the services specifically that you're interested in, um, and that's in February. You can find all of that by calling them or by going to their website. Oh, wow, that's awesome. And they have a download, a free resource guide. kind of gives you the Parkinson 101 on what's happening and what it looks like and who to contact for what kind of services. Awesome. Um, so are there anything, uh, any subjects or anything that you'd like to talk about that we haven't covered yet? Oh my, well, there's so much. I mean, of course, drug interactions. I always tell people to make sure they get, if possible, I know a lot of people with their insurance need to order online certain medications, but if you can at least carry with you a complete and up-to-date list of all medications and vitamins that you take, the prescribing doctors, the milligrams, that's great in case you're going on vacation or you're snowbirds or there's a hurricane or something and you come to the ER. But we want to make sure that whether, because there's a lot of things that just because it's a prescription doesn't, not a prescription doesn't mean it doesn't have an interaction. So it's important that they keep an up-to-date list um, and then the medications they've been prescribed, that they are very compliant with their times and doses. There's lots of ways to set a little alarms and pill boxes, but we um, really encourage those med lists, the compliance with that as well. Um, having that one pharmacist that reviews it, having your doctors review your list, because people are always more than one symptom, and they can have diabetes and Parkinson's. They can have cardiac issues and diabetes. You know, there's just combinations of things. And so if multiple physicians and offices are prescribing things, and then you're also buying uh, cold medication and taking certain vitamins over the counter, 
it can uh, really cause you some damage or affect the efficacy of the drugs that you're taking. So making sure everything you're eating for nutrition and taking vitamins and pills that you've got an overview of it and know what's what. Okay. That's huge importance for their health. Because, you know, medications in the wrong doses can make you dizzy, lower your blood pressure, and then you have a fall, and now you're seeing the orthopedic surgeon, and we don't want that to have to happen. We want to keep you as healthy as we can. Yeah, and that's why you were also saying to always start uh, low and slow, correct? Low and slow. You don't want to add in anything, you know, just because someone says something wonderful about a new vitamin or exercise, even an exercise, start low and slow and just see how things affect are affected. Because there's a lot of other lifestyle changes that are going on. We were talking just a teeny bit about, you know, driving issues. And driving is like the ultimate in multitasking. So if you're on something that's uh, making you t tired and sleepy or dizzy or affecting your vision, um, that may not just be a fall that injures yourself. That could be something that injures others as well. So power tools, driving, all of that needs to be very carefully monitored, especially during the time that you introduce anything new into your system. We also offer a driver's evaluation and rehabilitation. So a lot of times a spouse doesn't think that the partner should be driving anymore or the kids up north don't think we should. Um, but we have a certified occupational therapist and we have a dual controlled car. And so we can uh, get a script from a physician, any of the physicians, and we will do an evaluation. For my mom, we were able to keep her on the road longer after the evaluation. Everyone's concerned that we're going to take away a license, and that's not the goal. It's to keep people independent and safe. Um, and with the rigidity in her neck muscles, she wasn't turning fully to the left and right to see lane, safe lane changes and driving. We are getting some scrapes and dings. And after the evaluation, it was decided she needed physical therapy for greater range of motion, but also these great big uh, rearview mirrors we put on the side, like a big old pickup truck. And yeah. between the extra rearview mirror and the extra strength she got from the therapy, she remained safe for, I don't remember how long, eight, nine months before we even did anything else besides that. So that was nice. But we also educate on other options besides driving ourselves. There's a lot of good options in town. Wow, that's really awesome. That's really cool. Yeah, that's one of those things people don't know we offer. Like we do the vision rehab. That's an unusual one. We have a lot of uh, traumatic brain injury and a lot of stroke and Parkinson's that take that. Um, and then, of course, the driver's evaluation rehabilitation is another great one, service. Well, I'm very excited about um, this relationship here um, with yourself and um, and all the different things that you offer. Um, I feel like it can be super beneficial to the people that come through our doors. Um, I'm also really uh, excited about this industry um, in, in my world for the CBD world. Um, there's a there's a cannabinoid. It's a CBG, um, which is all neurological and it works uh, for cognitive. Um, so, you know, there, there, there is a no scientific, um, there's, there's nothing really on it yet. It's still very new. Um, but I'm just excited to see what comes with it. I know that, uh, for myself and, uh, for, for the people that I know that have been taking CBG, it's helped with like cognitive. So it's helped with everything, um, to do with, uh, with the cognitive end and it's, a bioavailable so it gets to the brain barrier in like five to seven minutes so i'm i'm curious to see uh where that goes on the research with the cbg in conjunction with um the cbd and and the total cannabinoids um there so lots of lots of really awesome stuff um really appreciate your time wanda it was great chatting with you um really happy that that shoulder pain went away with that topical release. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. It was a little tiny sample container, but I've used it at least three times. So thank you very much.
Yeah, a little bit goes such a long way. They did such a great job formulating that. Um, but I just love your personality and I love um, the cheerfulness. Every time that I talk with you, I always feel uplifted. So I highly recommend anybody listening to this. Um, if you've ex you're experienced any of this, or you're just looking for uh, those groups to be able to participate, um, get a hold of Wanda. And could you leave your contact information? It is, it, the easiest way is email because I'm not always at my desk. I'm out and about a lot. And it's Wanda-Jackson at smh.com. Again, the uh, website, the www.smh.com slash calendar is a great place to see the different classes and programs. I try to keep that really up to date. But if you have any questions on anything, just send me an email and I'll, I can attach the brochures and literatures and get it right back to people. Great. Well, listeners, thank you so much. Um, you are listening to the podcast where good health hits home. Thank you for your time and we'll talk to you next week.